Cyril Royston Guyton Bassett was born in Auckland, New Zealand on the 3rd of January 1892. When he finished his schooling in 1908, he started work at the National Bank of New Zealand. His military service commenced in 1909, initially with the Auckland College Rifles Volunteers, then moving to the Auckland Divisional Signal Company in 1911, and then in August 1914, he was attested as a sapper, or engineer, with the New Zealand Divisional Signal Company, which was attached to the Corps of New Zealand Engineers. And so it was that Bassett found himself sailing with the New Zealand Expeditionary Force towards Gallipoli, a campaign that sits front and centre in New Zealand's military history. It was in Gallipoli, during one of the fierce fights on Chanuk Bear, that Bassett was involved in an action that led to him being awarded a Victoria Cross. The award was announced in the London Gazette on the 15th of October 1915, and read as follows. For most conspicuous bravery and devotion to duty on the Chanuk Bear Ridge in the Gallipoli Peninsula, on the 7th of August 1915. After the New Zealand Infantry Brigade had attacked and established itself on the ridge, Corporal Bassett, in full daylight and under a continuous and heavy fire, succeeded in laying a telephone line from the old position to the new one on Chanuk Bear. He has subsequently been brought to notice for further excellent and most gallant work connected with the repair of telephone lines by day and night, under heavy fire. Later, when asked about how he was able to get away with this work under fire, he modestly said, it was just that I was so short that the bullets passed over me. He was the only New Zealander serving in a New Zealand unit to be awarded a Victoria Cross at Gallipoli. He remains the only signaller to have received the medal. Around a week later, on the 13th of August 1915, Bassett was evacuated to Britain due to illness. But that wasn't the end of his time at the front. He rejoined his unit in France in June 1916, and was commissioned as a second lieutenant the following year in 1917. Then in 1918, he was twice wounded in action on the Western Front, and had to return to New Zealand in December of that year. Before his release from the New Zealand Expeditionary Force in January 1919, he was promoted to full lieutenant. But even then, he wasn't done with his military service. While Bassett carried on his work at the National Bank, he joined the territorial forces at the same time, and when the Second World War broke out, he was recalled to the National Military Reserve as a lieutenant. He spent the war years in New Zealand working in signals and eventually achieving the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, and was put in command of the Northern Military District Signals. He was posted to the Reserve in 1943, and placed on the retired list in 1948. Throughout his military career, he was regarded as a popular and hard-working officer. With service in two world wars behind him, Bassett once again returned to banking before retiring in 1952. He lived on to the ripe old age of 91, passing away in January 1983. He left behind a legacy of public and military service, and his legacy lives on in two ways that reflect his public and military work. There's the Cyril Bassett Lookout in Devonport, Auckland, Or, if you happen to be the most outstanding corporal in the Royal New Zealand Corps of Signals, you might find yourself awarded the Bassett VC Memorial Trophy. In conclusion, take a moment to reflect on Bassett's words when asked about his feelings on being awarded the Victoria Cross. His response was, When I received my medal, I was disappointed to find out I was the only New Zealander to receive one from Gallipoli. Because hundreds of Victoria Crosses should have been awarded there. All my mates ever got was a wooden cross. 